guys, this is Reno Ranchero with another Hardcore Games gameplay commentary for you all. In this video, which is another episode to my Hardcore Games Kit Challenge, I'll be playing with a Soul Stealer Kit. With the Soul Stealer Kit, when you die, you get to come back to life with the Stone Sword, and then you die again. So it's pretty much the worst kit out there, and I would not recommend playing it, but I am playing it here. I know we're in a small server, but I get a lot of kills. The first kill there is a guy who doesn't really have anything, and now we're fighting this guy who is a mad man, mad man, man named Zachary Chrysler, and he is hitting me, and then It's Crit is hitting me as well. So I'm trying to fight off It's Crits here. I quickly do a refill, and I have to run right here because I don't want to get into the middle of a madman fight with someone else there. And now we're fighting this m -m 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 madman here named Zachary Chrysler, who has got the blue skin. I am hitting him lots of times, trying to end his life, and he dies right there. The madman was not good enough. I make it a whole bunch of soup, and I run and fight this guy named Rodrigo05. I get a really good combo on him, jumping up and down, hitting him lots of times, and he dies right there. He was the specialist kit and that is a great time for me we see a name tag way down here it's a guy named it's crits and I am going down here trying to mine to fight him. He is right here trying to trick me. But I decided to get right down here and have a little whole fight after he gets some crits on me. I have a whole fight right here with him. I just try to hit him as many times as I can, focusing on refilling more than anything because that's what you do in a whole fight. And he dies right there. So that was a good fight. Now I have 52 reds, 18 browns, which is pretty good. But I got to tower out here and try to get some more mushrooms. So right here I'm able to tower out. And we're moving on in this game. We see a guy named Chris Face who I jump up and kill pretty easily. He's got some iron in his furnace over here so I know I can make some uh, iron stuff. But we got Mario right here who is a wisp who I need to kill right there. Who I do kill right there. He's got, uh, he had some browns and so now I got 32 browns. I'm able to make a sword here. There's a couple of ingots left over. I mine one more ingot there. That means I have five ore total. But we got a guy who runs in here named Nurizen, who is a Thor. I put a pretty nice combo on him in the cave system. And we continue to fight right here. He dies very nicely right there, which makes me happy. He had a stack of cocoa beans, so now I am doing very well in the soup department. I can make a lot of soup. And I am going through here now, trying to find some iron. That's what I'm really trying to do. Because uh, I want to have that iron advantage. But I find this guy here instead. They Mr. Turkey, who I hit a few times. He is the boxer kit. He has nothing at all, and he dies. So now I find myself in the top seven, getting a lot of kills in this game. Now I found this dark cave system here, and I'm trying to find some iron. But there is no iron, so I'm basically wasting a little bit of time as the sun goes down. Now it is getting dark, and I know I need to find some iron. Uh, my compass keeps turning around underground to this guy named Infinity, Infinity Shadow. So I decide to dig straight down, as any smart player would. I guess I do a little bit of a smart thing right here as I dig down the safe way. And then as I get closer, I go straight down, and there he is. Infinity Shadow, no armor. I crit him, and he dies. He had lots of iron in his furnaces, which is very lucky for me. It's exactly what I was looking for. So I go through here and make a few more furnaces, and I'm able to make enough iron for basically full iron. There's 15 ingots there, and I got the full iron just like that. A lot of ingots left over, so I can basically do whatever I want. I make a bucket to get some lava, because, you know, lava buckets can sometimes help you. And then I got 15 ingots left over just for the lulls, because, you know, extra iron is always nice. Makes you feel like you're just loaded. But guess who's looking up right there as I'm towering up? It's a team of two, and one of them has a chest plate and an iron sword. I focus my hits on Isaac, and then I turn around to fight Sam, who I hit a few times. He has no armor at all and a stone sword. I am hitting him down a hill, taking a lot of fall damage, as I'm sure he is as well. I go over here, crit him once, and he dies. Now it's just me versus Isaac Habo, who, keep in mind, only has an iron chest plate. I have full iron armor, and this guy does a good job fighting me, but a lot of mobs continue to get in the way. He is playing the Achilles kit, which means he has a sword advantage as well. If I had a wooden sword, I would have switched to it, and I would have killed him very easily. I could just crit him a few times, and he would die. But since I don't have a wood sword, he definitely has a good advantage here. But I do have the armor so it is pretty close and we are just fighting in the swamp here the zombies doing more damage than anything else in this fight finally kill the zombies but skeletons are shooting and we are continuing to go here I back up to queue some things grabbing some more soup I actually back up into a cave system and he starts to hit me deep into the cave system so it's crazy guys I'm taking lots of fall damage here 
I'm thinking about trying to make a refill right there. I'm able to do a half refill where I take half of each, but he's already back hitting me, and I take more fall damage getting down to a few hearts here. I back up, uh, get some bowls back into my bowl stack, and he's hitting me yet again. So we are really deep in this cave system. It is dark. I can barely see him, folks. And he, he actually falls right there, so I jump down. So now we are fighting probably around level 15, I would say. Really deep in this cave system. There's a skeleton right there shooting us. And we are just fighting still. His chest plate has to be close to broken. I have hit him many times. Right there, I refill, continue to hit him, and he finally dies. So that was a very good and long fight with Isaac Habo, the Achilles. Very great indeed. So now I'm going through, uh, trying to grab some building materials. The feast is going to start in just two minutes, and I know I need to tower out and get to the feast as soon as possible because I want to make sure I'm there on time. And we get to the feast is starting in just one minute. I throw some stuff in the iron. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I throw 15 lava into the iron because that makes perfect sense. And here is the feast, and I'm able to loot it here. I get a diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, you know, full diamond because that's what you need. I grab the enchantment table, uh, going through here, making sure I didn't miss anything. I got a bow and arrow too. And uh, right here, I actually don't have any flint and steel, so I do this thing where I put down lava. And then if you shoot through the source block, it makes a flaming arrow. So that is the legit way to blow up the feast. If you guys didn't know it, it's pretty sweet. And now we got a guy named Rage Hunter. I believe he is the last person in the game. I dig down to him, expecting him to have full iron. But there he is, no armor at all. I shoot him one time. As he runs into the cave system, I jump over. He says, you win, because I have full diamond and he has nothing. I jump, kill him right there. And I win the game with Soul Stealer. Soul Stealer is not a good kit. In fact, it's a terrible kit. It's one of the few times I will not recommend this kit for solo play. But if for some reason you want to play Soul Stealer, I guess you can play it. It is free right now anyway. And here is the stats page. 12 kills with Soul Stealer. And that is the end of this episode of the Hardcore Games Kit Challenge. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.